Hey, welcome to our channel TechnoSavior. In this video, I will tell you what is JWT and how it works in a nutshell. So JWT, also known as JSON Web Token, provides you a way of representing claims to be transferred between two parties. It is mainly used for authorization purpose, not authentication. Well, JWT consists of three parts. First is header, second is payload and third is the signature. The header and the payload are base64 encoded strings. It can be decoded without any need for password, so anyone can read the plain text format. Before understanding how JWT works, let's see how session works, so that we can compare both. Here we have a basic example of a user and a server. So first the user authenticates itself by sending the correct username and password. Well, if the user details are verified successfully, the server creates a session. Now this session can be used for authorization of subsequent request. So now the user makes request. The server can check that the user is valid or not by verifying the session. Only after verifying the session, it sends the data back as a response. Now where does the session get saved? It gets saved in the server's memory. In this new scenario, let's assume the site is very popular and there are millions of users who have successfully authenticated themselves. So each of them will have a session for authorization purpose of request. Well, here storing in memory seems to be a bad idea. As the server memory load increases, it can and it will make it slow. So now the server needs a third party to store the session. Let's assume it is a database. Now when any user requests for the data, the server checks the database and validates their session. On successful validation, the server returns the responses. What if you had multiple servers? Now if the user's request goes to other server 2, then again server 2 uses the same DB to validate and send back the responses. As you can see, it works fine if we have session stored in separate location, but still managing session is server's headache. Now we will see how JWT works. This is a sample JWT token. The header is colored in red. The payload is colored in purple. Anyone can read the data in the header and the payload. But the server can only identify if the payload is valid or it is tampered with by verifying the signature that is in blue. Let's understand how it works. Let's assume again there are millions of users and they all are authenticated due to which they have received their unique token. Now a user wants to get some data back from server, so he calls the API with the JWT token. The server on receiving the request from the user extracts the header in red from the token. It decodes the base64 string and found out that the hashing algorithm is H256. H256 also known as hashed based message authentication code. Well in short, hashing is a technique where for each unique string, there is a unique hash. For a string, the hash remains same no matter how many times you remake it. So now the verification process starts. The server takes the header, adds a full stop at the end, then it adds the payload and again adds a full stop. Now it adds the secret key to the string. This secret key is known only to the server, no one else. Then Using this full string, it generates the hash. So only if the generated hash matches the signature of the token that is in blue color, the server uses the token else it rejects the request. Now since the server knows the token is valid, it extracts the payload from the token and decodes it to get the user info. Now it returns the data for the user for whom the token was created. This is the entire flow of JWT. Now let's see how does it behave in a multi-server architecture. So here, based on the load of the server, the request can go anywhere. But since there is no concept of session, each server can independently decode the token, verify it and return the response, thereby completely removing the overhead of session management via third party or itself. It also helps in achieving the stateless session concept. If you don't know what stateless session is, then that's a video for next topic. So that was JWT in a nutshell. 
will dive deeper into JWT in subsequent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such concept videos. Hit the like button if you loved our video. Let me know in the comment section what other topics you are interested in. Thank you.